guys, welcome to another video. Today, I am teaching you how to install Windows 2000 in VirtualBox. So first, go to your web browser, and just like the first video, you go to VirtualBox, and then install it. And also, just like the last video, you go to malware, watch.org link is in the description and then go to and then go to software and then windows so in the description i'm gonna go like i'm gonna put the wind like and when you're in the so in the description i'm gonna put the windows section so you can just directly choose the ISO. Uh, and then you search to, for Windows 2000 and you'll find it. So click it to download it. And now when you have it installed and with the ISO, go to VirtualBox and click new. So then may, name your operating system Windows 2000 and then it will and it will put windows 2000 then put your iso image so and then skip and then tap skip unintended installation or if you want you can just put it on but i'm just gonna not i'm just gonna tap skip go to hardware and keep it the same and saving for the hard disk Click finish and then you have a VM. Turn it on. <laughs> okay, now it's gonna open the VM. And um, click, and then you will see this screen. Click enter, and then click FN F8 or F8. If F8 doesn't work, click FN F8. And then click unpartition space. There's not a quick, so just keep it at the first one. Time lapse. Okay, now it's copying the file. Time lapse. Now it's gonna initialize the configuration and it will reboot. Just click enter. And then don't click. And now it should load to a setup. Okay, we are at the setup. Click next. And then it's going to detect any devices. So time lapse. And then you can change your language and keyboard, but I'm gonna keep it the same. And then I'm gonna name myself that tech dude, but you can put another name. And then click next. Now you're gonna put your product key. I'm gonna put where you can get the product keys in the description. And then 
you you can change you can add an administrator password but i'm gonna keep it the same because if you keep it blank it, you will not get a password click next and then just keep this the time the same and now it's throwing network components and like it's not it's not like it does not take that long like it, it just takes a few seconds And now you keep it typical and click next. And just just don't care, just click next again. Now it's copying the files. Okay, and then click finish. And just wait. Again, don't click. And now, it will just go to the desktop and finish. So, time lapse. Okay, now it's starting up. It should take like a few static seconds, but then you'll just open. You put. You can just cancel it and click OK. And now it is installed. But as you can see, the colors the graphics drivers are not good and the resolution is not right so go to devices and insert guest edition cd image then go to my computer and you find vbox guest editions click it and then you'll get this welcome to oracle virtualbox guest editions Click next, and then click next, and then click next. So, just wait a couple of seconds. And then, time lapse. And then it will finish. Click Keep it on reboot now and click finish. So now we will restart. First, we're gonna see a difference in the colors and also in the resolution. So this, so now we added new drivers, new graphics drivers. So the color will be much better. Just wait until you load. Click OK. And then you go to go to settings, control panel, go to display. Go to display and then go to appearance. I meant settings. Now put high col true color 32 bit, and you will see a big difference. And also, when you go to device, uh, when you go to view and full screen mode, yeah, the resolution is way higher. So, thanks guys. Hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.